Welcome to this fourth tutorial of how to set up ClusterFS and access from Windows client. Okay, so uh, up to third video, we actually cover how to install the Gluster packages and the initial setup. Okay, now we start with how we can enable, uh, how we can start the services. So at this moment, if you see Gluster, so now we we can we have the cluster installed in your system with that okay now cluster pool list and it's saying that hey you know your cluster daemon is not operational so we have to start that so follow these two commands that will enable cluster in your start and and the second command will start right now same follow in the second node and all the nodes into your file server okay now let's see cluster pool list and it's showing that hey you know you have one a host in your in your pool and that is your local host and if you see here cluster pool list and that will show hey you know you have one local host so now we want to add the sun2 into this this list so make sure they both can can see each other right so for with that what we can use use cluster p probe sun1 and that is the your host name of your system so just copy and paste okay so now let's see cluster pool list and now we, we have sun2 which is this node into our our pool list now let's see here also and in pool list we can see sun1 and in sun1 machine we see sun2 Okay, perfect. Now we need to create a folder. There, actually, we will uh, create uh, create our data. Okay. So previously, we created a folder cluster to mount the cluster volume, and now we will create a data folder. Just. Like All right, yeah. So we have to create a cluster for data folder where we gonna save our data. Okay. So make directory cluster data, and that you have to create on on your both node. So sun one and sun two. Make sure both having the cluster data folder. Okay, now this command is important here, which is cluster volume create. So with that, we can we can create a new volume into our cluster. So to see the volumes currently right now, what are available, you can use cluster cluster volume. cluster wall cluster volume info yes okay so cluster volume info will tell you how many volumes present in your cluster file system right now no volume so we have to create a new volume for that and also you can use full volume also so either you use wall or volume both are same okay so let's create a volume so cluster volume create volume 1 is the vol name of the volume you can use any name whatever you want 
and use the replica 2 and sun1 is your host name and the cluster data and sun2 cluster data so make sure in sun2 we created a cluster data folder and here also we created okay so let's create a volume in sun1 and volume already created and the message is uh, success and please start the volume to access the data and this you no need to create on volume 2 okay so in volume 1 if you create you can access through volume 2 so first you have to start the volume which is volume 1 and volume start success okay let's clear this and see uh, cluster volume info again cluster so now it's saying that okay we have volume volume 1 which is replicated breaks and the date break 1 is sun 1 and break 2 everything is fine here let's see that it is recognized from our nodes also so cluster volume info perfect we created volume 1 in sun 1 and from sun 2 also we can see this so now the data which we, we can create inside this data folder can be accessed through both nodes okay and after that you need to restart the cluster process okay now let's create a directory to bound the cluster data okay let's create a directory and that also you have to create in all your nodes yeah so in all nodes you have to create this so uh, in now if let's see in the file structure properly so far what we did is we created cluster folder inside cluster folder we created a data folder and in data folder we actually mounted as you can see with this did this data we created for our volume and this volume we will mount to our here we go, data volume 1 so our volume 1 data is actually here and we will use this volume 1 folder and the, uh, to actually share this with our network with with samba or any other pro protocols okay so this is important to actually end user point of view because they will interact directly from here they will not write in G cluster fs file system they will write in this system that is mounted uh, through this okay so uh, let's see uh, when we when we do this we more cover so up to now what we created is uh, a, a folder a directory to mount the cluster data and now let's add this also into our startup so make sure whenever our system is start this should load from always okay so if you go to system tool file system monitor and there we have sun1 volume which is mounted and that is if you see the file type fuse cluster fs okay and that's what we be gonna share with uh, with our windows network uh, windows clients but this is missing from here so for that you need to add in sun2 also okay let's copy this paste this in sun2 
okay so file system everything fine perfect okay so up to now we have a volume ready where we can create data and share with the with our our network only in cluster but remember still we cannot able to view this data from windows client because we need to configure a lot of other settings also so to make sure that our cluster volume is working properly what we're gonna do clear this and create a folder like uh, how are we we're gonna create in this folder like uh, maybe I, I'm, I'm not gonna touch this because this will I will cover in next video but just to test our volume go to CD uh, uh, that is our data volume and create a file there let's say test dot oh, okay. sorry 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 that should be touch okay so in sun2 volume we created a file test.txt so if our cluster is working fine this file should view from sun1 also remember this is a local folder this is not a folder which is shared yet but through cluster we can see this so if we go to sun1 and go to and see the data volume and you are able to see this text file and you you can also create file from here and that will be able to see from sun2 and if you 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 uh, you can see these files and if you are done there is no problem up to this level you're done with your cluster setup there is nothing complicated here like clear this all and just see uh, cluster pool list everything connected everything fine no problem next video we will start with ctdb process and find out how we can use ctdb and samba to share our stuff with windows client see you in next video